The start of the Second World War in September 1939 brought an abrupt end to normal life in Wales. Promising young cricketers such as Jim Police of Cardiff had to swap their sports kit for military uniform. And for the next six years, thoughts of playing cricket on a regular basis became secondary to military service. In Jim's case, he soon joined the army and in 1944 was involved in the D-Day landings. There were 4,000 and they were going at about 30 knots, it's about 100 miles across. Then, um, about 20 yards, 20, no, 20 yards or more, um, the Germans started firing away with their, uh, their guns. And they, well, they strapped us for probably a couple of hours, I suppose. And then we, the beach signals got ashore and managed to get the Germans well, way back. And they took over the beach and uh, they were in the element. And then they said to me, well, it's time you went back now. But other Glamorgan cricketers were not so fortunate and in August 1944, the club's captain, Maurice Turnbull, was killed in the small French town of Montchamp as he led a platoon of Welsh guards against a convoy of German tanks. As Maurice crawled along behind a hedge to throw a hand grenade into one of the advancing tanks, its turret swung round and shot him through the head, killing Maurice instantly. News of Morris's death reached South Wales the next day, and shortly afterwards, a memorial fund was set up in Morris's memory, with games in his honour taking place in the summer of 1945. Life slowly got back to normal, and Glamorgan regrouped ahead of the 1946 season. Johnny Clay agreed to take over the captaincy and to groom a new leader. His choice was Wilf Wooler, the amateur from North Wales, who had been a star of Welsh rugby during the 1930s. And Wilf had also played occasionally for Glamorgan in 1938 and 1939. <laughs> By early August, Glamorgan were on top of the county table and they only needed two more wins to clinch the championship title for the first time.
and it was ra raining the first day. Yeah. And then we had to do an awful lot, get something like 300 in the last two days. And of course, Johnny Clay did his stuff, so did Len Monster. And then uh, I think Arnold Dyson did his stuff as well. And everybody came good, except me. <laughs> or something like that, or having a drink as the train was hurtling its way. <laughs> Eu euphoria, I think, the expression. And when we got to Cardiff Station, we couldn't believe the, the crowds there at about 10 o'clock at night. And I don't think the players realised it until they got onto the platform in front of me. And they were waiting for us at the gates, the gate, Time we finished, but it was pretty late. 